Hello, this is a series of three short videos with information about renting out to your second home in the province of Alicante in uh, Valencia Comunidad in Spain to holiday makers, not long term, but short term holiday lets. Just note this isn't legal advice, this is information that you will need to take into consideration when buying a holiday home that you intend to let out. Spanish Dream Property are property finders for the South Costa Blanca, which is in the Alicante province. We also do cover a part of the Mar Menor area in Murcia, but they have different rules when it comes to holiday lets. I have written a number of published articles about buying, owning and renting out property in the Alicante province. As property finders, we have clients who come to us to find their ideal second home. These days we always ask if it's just for their own use or whether they do intend to let it out to holiday makers. The type of reply I usually get is something like, well, probably just for us, but we might think about letting out at some point in the future. Now, renting your holiday home out is a great idea because it can mean covering your running costs and um, can also provide you with a small income. But this is something that needs to be considered before, not after you start looking for your property. In recent years, the laws in Spain have changed regarding holiday let properties. Whenever, wherever the property is in Spain, it now needs to have a tourist license to be able to be legally let to holiday makers. Now, to complicate matters, there are 17 autonomous regions in Spain and each of those regions sets their own regulations. And within that, uh, the community of Valencia is split into three uh, provinces of which Alicante is one. So that the regulations that apply to South Costa Blanca are the ones for the Valencia region. Now I'm recording this in June 2020 and the rules do change from time to time. So if you're looking at this at some point in the future, you will need to check for updates. In 2009, there was a decree passed stating that anyone owning five or more properties in Spain needed to have a license for holiday let purposes. That was later reduced to just two properties. The decree in 2009 was number 92 of 2009, just to cover the legal aspect. But in January 2015, decree 75 of 2015 was passed and that updated the uh, regulations for holiday licenses to cover all properties. Now, many owners, I have to say, cheerfully just ignored the new law. And in January 2018, as a result of that, they announced a clampdown and said that anyone found letting out their property after June 2018 would be fined. And I have to say those fines run into tens of thousands of euros. Now, the result was absolute chaos as previously the quick and efficient um, licensing process at the Office of Tourism was absolutely flooded with thousands of people applying for a tourist license who should already have had one. The system got incredibly backlogged and instead of taking a few weeks it was taking many months in some cases over a year. Now to complicate matters further in July of 2018, a new first stage was brought into the process. There are reasons for this. Um, there are requirements for the property, which I'll cover in a, a later video, that have to be met. And in the early days, they weren't checked. So there are properties around the Alicante province and the Valencia region in general that actually don't qualify under the current regulations for a license, but they already have tourist licenses. To get around that, for a short while, there was a property inspection um, started. But with the swamping of applications in 2018, it became obvious that it would take years to do all those inspections. So that was one of the reasons why the town halls were brought in for a first stage, which is where you apply for a certificate of compatibility to state that your house is appropriate for holiday letting. The problem is the town halls weren't ready. 
when this came into effect in 2018. So there are still people who applied back in the early stages of that who are waiting nearly two years on for their certificate of compatibility and you cannot apply for your license now without that. The good news is that some town halls did get their act together and some town halls will only take a couple of weeks, three or four weeks maybe, to issue you with your certificate of compatibility. You can then apply for your license and it's all done and dusted within a couple of months. As I said, however, there are people who um, are in a situation where they've been waiting a very, very long time for that first certificate and you cannot apply for your license until you got it. You cannot rent your property legally without a license. So it's a bit of a catch-22 situation, which I'll cover a little bit more in the next video. Just to say that if a property already has a license, the license belongs to the property, not to the owners. So if you buy a property that already has a license, that license is transferable to the new owner. The bad news is there are very few properties with licenses that come onto the resale market when they do they tend to sell quite quickly so you will if you're looking at buying a, a holiday home that you want to let out there is a lot that you need to take into consideration to ensure that you can do so legally and get that license as quickly as possible i'll cover that in the next couple of videos